Brian Parfumore here of Parfumore Paranormal. I'm in Troy, Ohio. I figured I'd show you some of these pilots that they have over here. Statues, which is it's pretty cool. Because first you got this NASA lady. I'll get to her name in a second because her plex name's down on the opposite side of her. But you can see her in her NASA outfit and you see the helmet. Good detail. But her name is here it is. Nancy Curie Gregg. She's a NASA astronaut. But you can see her. Show her one more time here before I go to the next one. There's three statues here, so there's the helmet. Okay, let's go to our next guy over here. Which is it is Robert Hartzell Hartzell Propeller, which is pretty cool. Like I said, we just driving free. We found this. So I don't know whole bunch of info on it but they do got plaques over here okay we'll go ahead and see our next guy here which is Clayton Bunker of Waco Aircraft see him up there looking up at the sky try to get a better look up from here for you guys Pretty good detail, Lauren. But this is the Pioneers of Aviation. You go here. They got Clay Bunker, which was the last person we looked at. Which it's a pretty interesting story about him. Like in 1928, where in order to keep Wacko from moving, the citizens of Troy purchased and gave the company 115 acres of land in the early 1940s. Wacko produced training trainers for the Army as well. A large group in cargo carrying gliders. That's pretty interesting. Then we got Robert Hazel. That's the propeller dude. Of Hatzel Propeller Company when he was still a student at the University of Cincinnati. Robert visited with his Oakwood, Ohio neighbor Orville Wright and his Hawhorn Hill resident since the Hartzell family had began in the hardwood business. Said be wooden propellers, probably. Wow. Propeller in 1917 in Pickwell, Ohio manufactured hardwood propellers. I never knew that in Pickwell, Ohio. Some interesting stuff. Now, Nancy Curie Gregg, Dr. Nancy Curie Gregg, a Troy native, was a member of NASA's astronaut corps from the 1990s to 2005. She occurred. 1,000 hours in space as a mission specialist in four space shuttle missions. That's pretty cool, actually. STS-57, STS-70, and STS-88. Okay, it's the International Space Station Assembly Mission. And STS-109 following her safety, following her astronaut career, I'm sorry. She served in senior engineering and safety positions as NASA retiring from the agency in 2017. A master army aviator, Nancy lodged over 4,000 flying hours 
a variety of aircrafts and retired from the military service at the rank as colonel and a 1977 graduate of Troy High School, which we're in Troy, so that's cool. But guys, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We got all kinds of cool stuff coming up and everything that you guys will enjoy. So keep exploring, guys. Peace.